Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, Solana chart. Um, we can see here this sort of sideways action in a triangle still. That's still the perspective and the idea that this is an Elliott wave triangle is valid as long as we are holding above the C wave low, $121.70. Um, the closer we get to that key level, and we might not even test it, the better the reward to risk ratio for a long trade. We might test the support zone here if the top is already in, which isn't confirmed yet. But the support zone for the next pullback in this triangle, which could be the last one before an upside breakout, um, that's defined already. Um, it's not you know, fully fixed on the chart until we really get confirmation and more price action that would indicate that wave E to the downside is unfolding. It's between $132.90 and $157.50. So we have to use that area to watch for support if the price goes down. And it's an area where, yeah, with, with higher likelihood, the price could find support, okay? Does it mean we have to test it? No, as I said in a few videos now, um, an E-Wave doesn't really have a minimum target, but yeah, it, it should get there. It should get there, but at the moment, we don't even know if the E-Wave is already unfolding. At the moment, the D-Wave might still extend higher, even though it's already quite at the limit of what it can do. It could still give us one more extension to 190, above that level, the wave count would change. For a more clearly bullish interpretation, it would be ideal if the price could hold below 190, which is the upside level, or the upside, let's say boundary level of the price range we're tracking, and then give us one more pullback, however, to get us that completed triangle and then breakout, okay? Um, so yeah, an Elite Wave triangle, I showed you that yesterday on our Discord server, they, they are normally A, B, C, D, E structures, and then we break out. That tells us two things. It tells us this chart is to be seen as bullish, primarily bullish, as long as we're holding $132.90, which is the lower boundary line of the box. Um, if we go below that level, the invalidation point will be $121.70. Maybe I should change it now, this red line, we move it to there, because that's really the, the key level now that would invalidate the triangle as it is. So it's $121.70. Hasn't really changed much from 119, but uh, it's still a key level to watch. Um, and that would be the invalidation point, okay? Now, can we predict that the price has to test it again? No, I mean, this level, probably not if this is the correct wave count, because an E-wave wouldn't necessarily try to you know, invalidate the pattern necessarily or test it. Um, but yeah, sometimes E-waves can be shallow so we've got the yellow box for Fibonacci levels here on the chart that should provide support if the price gets there. Yeah? But at the moment, there's not even confirmation that, we really, that we've started the decline. Um, we only have a three wave move down. That's the thing. A three wave decline always leaves the door open for higher. Okay, we broke out of the channel. That's an initial signal that the top has formed, but it will now be the nature of this rally that will tell us more. The wave count tells us that the, the upside move is technically full. Doesn't mean that we have to have topped um, because further upside extensions are always possible. The trend is still up. We're still forming a series of higher highs and higher lows. This here isn't even a lower low. It formed basically here a double bottom, you could say. Well, not really a double bottom, but you know, it, it didn't break below the previous low. Um, so it might be a head and shoulders pattern, but the red line support that I mentioned yesterday is still holding at 107, uh, 100, what is that? $170.70. Yeah, so red line support is still holding. That's very, uh, very important because only a break below it would have more clearly confirmed that we're coming down in wave E and that a more substantial top has formed here. But yeah, let's see. I mean, this support area was or level was clear. We've seen a bounce. So you see the levels are being respected. But now it's all about what is this B wave going to do? If we break above yesterday's high, um, no, it's the Sunday high, isn't it? If we break above the Sunday high located at 185.50, it would indicate that we rather get one more extension. And I will interpret this as an Elliott wave triangle as long as we're holding below 190. Please see the $190 level as a breakout point. Um, it would set the, fry, the, the price free from the range it's not really a key resistance level. I mean, it, it sort of is, but it's not like it's not like a level that has been tested several times before where the price should really 
um, you know, I don't know. It's not it's not like a, a, pr a price that or a level that the price tried to test several times. No, only once. But um, the pattern, the pattern will just change if we break above that level. I hope that's clear. And it would probably change to a C wave rally in a B wave um, correction in white. OK, so we've got that already on the chart. And yeah, I mean, if a C wave in white is unfolding, we would see more direct upside. It's more like based on the current pattern, what is the support area? And it's defined here. Um, what is micro support? Well, that's here the red line, right? Um, at $170.70. And I'm just watching now if the current rally is a B wave. It looks quite impulsive. Sometimes B waves look impulsive to the upside. So if that's a B wave and then we break below the, yeah, let's say intraday low at $170.70, that would more clearly indicate that wave C is unfolding to the downside. So this is just an analysis based on what we can see in the microstructures at the moment. If we get this ABC structure down in, then it might just be wave A. We could then still see another B wave rally and a C wave down in the E wave of a triangle. I shared with you yesterday that these triangles, they are ABCDE patterns. They often, however, turn into something different. Okay, triangles rarely work out until the end. It's been working out this analysis for the last few weeks now. Um, Actually, I think since early in June when I highlighted that, okay, I mean, we've been talking about this as a way for already for months, right? So that's been the narrative, but I think I've seen it as a triangle since June and the analysis has been followed in the range. Now we just need to see if the price can also hold below 190 for now, give us a pullback before the breakout, which would be ideal. Now I'm not sure it's, if it's going to happen. The trend is still up, as I said, but... Um, yeah, if it breaks above, what are the next levels? 192.60, $215, okay? So it's all it would mean the pattern is likely going to change, but the overall analysis, which is still bullish for Solana, not. I would, however, tell you that it will introduce some uncertainty if the price breaks above 190, okay? So why? Because it would likely just be wave C or the larger B wave, and then we would need to see what it's doing. This double bottom structure introduces some ambiguity i can tell you so it's a bit messy so i actually hope for clarity we hold below 190 but if it breaks above 190 you already have the next levels to watch and bear in mind there is some structural resistance around 204.80 and then 210 dollars as well that's the update about solana hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.